This is too cool. Look at this. We're in the vault underneath the Peterson Museum. People aren't allowed down here. You know, you have the General Museum, which is pretty incredible on its own, but this is the stuff they don't see. You know, it's in the basement of the museum. They're not roped off either. You don't want to touch them, but you can at least walk around them and see them right up close like you should be able to. Hi, I'm Rob Canan with Ford Social, and I'm here with Leslie Kendall, the curator of the Peterson Automotive Museum and we're in the vault. Well, the vault's a living, breathing place. Cars move in and out constantly. Wow, and who gets to come down here? Well, not very many people have a key to this area. Uh, we try to keep it pretty limited, but that's gonna change because what we want to do is open the vault. The Peterson Automotive Museum it has a, a couple of hundred cars in its collection. We can't display everything. So what we do is we have this vault area, the substreet area of the museum, that we keep cars that aren't on display. We have something that can tell just about any story. And this one is especially interesting because it's the orange twist. It was built by Ermi Immerso, one of the world's best known hot rodders. This spectacular car right next to us, it's a Model T. Uh, it's got this marvelous paint job. Everything a custom Model T needs to be and an important car to boot. We also have one of only seven GT40 Mark III's that were ever built. The car has quite a provenance. The Peterson Museum speaks to all aspects of automotive history in general. If it's important to us and if it's important to our car culture, we want to talk about it. We want to collect it.